Sita. So today we are going to demonstrate using Arduino ESP8266 boards for LED blinking using uh, Arduino IDE Cloud. So it is a cloud platform. You can create the, the real-time IoT related projects like a homemade applications, weather monitoring and then automatic street light on off and then various sensors like soil moisture sensors so some basic projects we can do using Arduino IDE Cloud so it is a cloud based platform you can upload your coding into the cloud and then you can view your output in the dashboards it is a real time you can control your devices throughout the uh, anywhere in the world so and then app application uh, also is available at no ID uh, remote with the cloud it is available in place store so now we are, we are going to do one some simple projects uh, LED on and off project so first in the Nintendo ID cloud uh, you can uh, uh, log in so already we have created account so this for accounts so in that uh, we have uh, sketch devices things dashboards is available so dashboards uh, uh, we have for uh, real time uh, on off uh, using a cloud platform and then things we are going to create our new project so the devices uh, we have to connect our Arduino boards first uh, we can start from things so things you can create new project you can add a plus things So in that uh, you can add the variables. So I am uh, doing the LED experiments. LED on off. So I simply give LED. So I can set the variable. So we have a character float integer. So depending upon application, so I am using the boolean variable. So it is here LED on off condition and to one false. So this is for description boolean LED. So this is read and write mode then variable update either you can on change or periodically so depending upon your requirement for your application so you can add variables so next you can set the title so this for uh, you can give any of your name next we are associated devices network First, I have added associated device. So, in that associated device, already I have connected some devices, but now I can add setup new device. So, in that uh, setup new device, I can select the third party device. So, in that we have ESP32 lower of and selected device. I have used ESP32 8266. So in that, I am using uh, low link model, but if, uh, depending upon uh, you have at your boards, you can uh, see uh, which type of board you are having. So I am having low link WMOS D1 R2 mini, you continue. So as for uh, device name, you can give any name. So this for device ID, you just copy. And then I uh, can save. Then can PDF files also will generate. You can download for the secret key for future use. Click continue and then. So now our devices has been associated successfully. So next we will connect to the network. So we can paste the secret key. So this is for your mobile uh, hotspot. It's a name and password. Sketch. I'm going to write these programs. So in that, once connected, you 
இல்ல கோரி ஐடியல் sometimes uh, the issue is uh, the network your device will not connect to the uh, com port so we have to add the drivers so for that uh, my arduino board so i have downloaded ch 314 uh, driver so it is uh, available in the website this the driver link so i have searched cs 340 the convert by windows driver i have downloaded this driver and the extractor and then uh, so i have installed the setup okay so this setup i have installed so once installed uh, you can uh, search in the uh, device manager so in that uh, ports it will show usb serial ch340 com port 9 okay so once you connected your port your uh, port uh, will automatically enable and connect to the com port 6 so otherwise this port will not show means your port uh, will not be connected to your pc so once this setup is completed so So this line will be enabled. Okay. So otherwise, it will show the error letters. Okay. So once the com port has the driver has been successfully installed, so so this port will be enabled. Okay. So after that, this uh, project you can in the uh, things dashboard you can uh, see what are the projects we have but in this uh, basic version we have only to uh, create two projects uh, we have a uh, paid version uh, you may create uh, a number of projects that is a premium version so in this we have uh, created a uh, boolean so this for uh, read me the basic details and this for uh, things properties this will be the arduino iot cloud and then uh, your uh, secret id and then uh, secret passwords will be automatically generated and device id this for on change and this is for the arduino cloud uh, environment so you no need to modify anything in that uh, things properties these things uh, be used for to upload your code into the Arduino Cloud. So these are the secret tabs. Let me. So but we have to change only in the LED. So this is already in the code has been defaulted available. So I am using the include things. So I am going to write the LED on off. So I am simply create one variable LED. I can assign pin. Okay. We can assign the any pins. Uh, so depending. This is our node mcu esp8266 pin out diagram so the designs are analog pin this for ground and this for a serial communications okay this side for digital communication d0 1 2 3 4 i am using the d4 that is gpio 2 okay this for a digital pins and then ground this for three volt power supply this for transmission and receive purpose some default led is also available so we can also uh, connect any pin numbers digital pins if we require analog uh, output we have to connect ads this is for the esp to ports so these are the digital pin numbers to so use in arduino ide 16 5 4 0 2 14 12 13 15 
So this is for a serial beginning. I can give the baud rate angle to 600 for initial delay 1500. So we need properties. And then until no cloud, you can uh, upload your code into the cloud. So don't modify anything in this board. Whatever additional codes you require, you just add the codes. Don't delete the existing codes. So in that uh, void setup, we can uh, set the pin mode. So I have created a new So we can uh, set the pin number two as the output. So first we have created a variable and assign the pin number next we can assign that pin number in the output mode so we can show our output in that particular pin that's why we have created as a output so next we have to write the code we can uh, led on off okay, so we can set the delay and then on so we have digital so digital write led After uh, delay, we can off. So again, serial dot in line. change delay on change delay means you have to control the led on off uh, by manually okay. so using the wi-fi connection using the acronym iot cloud okay so this for a basic coding so in that you have to connect on off in manually we require dashboards to create the dashboards and we have to control your led so in that we have plus dashboard so we have to add a number of dashboards is widgets is available i think is available we require uh, widgets so switch step for the slider message value it will show the output value value and then LED status either we require status this is for on off okay so like that the output will be shown here so, so we require switch okay switch on means LED on that is on you can link the variable okay already we have created in thing we have created boolean variable 0 and 1 we just assign this value to this variable so once this thing happened next go to things click LED so this project we have done Here also we can assign. So in that uh, on change event, this for on change event. So to control manually, so we can uh, create a variable uh, LED. Okay. So it is available here. So LED. So these names also same. LED one. Okay. So we are going to simply assign. So we can 
assign the already we have created variable so this variable is going to assign the led one this is for your we have uh, created new variable so you just simply assign that variable okay so once code has been uh, written you just compile and run okay so it is this for upload button you can simply upload so if we have any error means it will show in the so it will show in that uh, below otherwise your code will get run without any error so here there is a error listed right any low So if there is any board problem means you can set the baud rate and then uh, serial uh, communication that is a uh, comport problems may arise in the Arduino boards. So you can effectively select the exact boards. We have thousands of Arduino boards available in the market. So now the board is uh, running. Upload. So once it is uploaded, you can view the output in the serial monitor. You just click in the serial monitor and you can see. So LED on top. Okay. You can see the output. So this preview you have to on up to your LED. 